So spoiler season day two is here and actually I was already up really early this morning working on my first episode for today so if you haven't seen my episode on the ever-changing Dane make sure you check that episode out it's a very gross commander for many reasons but don't leave just yet because you need to stay tuned for this episode to find out if this card is a brand new green staple so with all that said let's jump into it So the card in question is the brand new Defiler of Vigor. My goodness, magic has come a long way since Crawworm. Here we go. Defiler of Vigor is a 6-6 Phyrexian Worm with Trample that costs 3 green green. So uh, again, just uh, at a base level, a Crawworm is very jealous. Uh, and I, I guess I should have probably mentioned Crawworm for those of you that don't uh, remember is a 6-4 uh, a uh, plain vanilla worm uh, that uh, costs, I believe, four green green. So one more than that. So now we've got, uh, again, obviously magic has changed quite a bit over the years. Uh, and that's just the start of this card, being a 6-6 six, six trample for just five mana. Because on top of that, as an additional cost to cast green permanent spells, you may pay two life. Those spells cost green less to cast for each life you paid this way. This effect only reduces the amount of green mana you pay. So, again, that, that's on top of this being a 6-6 six, six trampling Phyrexian Worm uh, for 5. But that's not all. And now I feel like I'm in an infomercial after saying that. Anyways, whenever you cast a green permanent spell, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Okay, so let's break this absurd creature down that is somehow just a rare and, and not a mythic rare. I mean, these days, you know, some mythics are basically rares and some rares are basically mythics. Obviously, the rarity really doesn't matter at the end of the day except for the price of the card. This card's probably still going to be pretty expensive, though, because my goodness does this do a ton. Again, 6-6 six, six for 5 trample, great stats. Secondly, gives you cost reduction on every single one of your green permanent spells. Yes, at the cost of life, but still, in a game of Commander, you have a lot of life. You can utilize that for your spells now to help cast them quicker. And of course, in green, you also have ways to gain life too. But yeah, I mean, you can reduce your spells by essentially up to two mana. Again, if they've got two green pips in them, you get to reduce that. Now again, it does specify green permanent spells, but... If you aren't a green deck, chances are you're running a good amount of green permanence. And of course, on top of all that, it really did not need that last line of text to be a fantastic card, but on top of all of that, again, this helps you cast spells quicker, and the more green permanent spells you cast, the larger all of your creatures get, because you are getting a counter on each creature you control, including this one, including your 6-6 six, six Trampler, which is already huge is going to get even bigger. And, and of course, you know, in green, there are plenty of ways to take advantage of counters and to get more counters. And we'll talk about those here in a bit. So yeah, again, when I said that magic has come a long way since Crawworm, my goodness has it. Now, is this card for every single deck out there? I mean, no. I mean, no card out there is for every single deck out there. I I've definitely talked about certain examples of where Soul Ring even should be in certain decks. So Regardless, is this going to be an incredibly effective card in a deck that has a lot of green permanents in it? Uh, yes, most definitely. Now, when I saw this card, the first two cards that came to mind that this is kind of like a combination of is Crick, son of Yogmoth, or Carrick, I can't remember how you exactly say that. Regardless, Yogmoth's son and Cathar's Crusade. Garrick, I'm just going to go with that, is a 2-2 with lifelink that has for each black and a mana cost, you may pay 2 life rather than pay that mana. And also, whenever you cast a black spell, put a plus 1 counter on Karik, son of Yawgmoth. Now, this is obviously different and a, a very broken commander itself. There are certain differences with this one. This one, first off, just basically turns all of your black mana into Phyrexian black, no matter what kind of a spell it is. 
and actually not even just for spells but also for abilities as well so yeah there's some very broken things that you can do with this nevertheless in comparison you kind of get a life loss reduction in a way with the filer of vigor because again you are paying two life either you know if you are casting something that has one green pip or two you are getting cost reduction so it's going to be you know if it's a two you know green pips that you're taking out that is only two life for two mana instead of you know that situation for Carrick, that'd be four Regardless, again, Carrick applies to all spells and all abilities versus Defiler Vigor. Just, you know, it applies to just green permanent spells. Still, you can definitely hop out in a ton of situations. Now, the other kind of card that Defiler Vigor kind of took inspiration from, at least in my eyes, is Cathar's Crusade, which says, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one counter on each creature you control. Now, this is an incredible card in a lot of decks out there and a fantastic way to finish off your opponents. And yes, there are certain differences, but still, the fact that Defiler of Vigor is even in the conversation, you know, for being compared to each of these cards is pretty absurd. Cathar's Crusade counts when, you know, creatures come into play. So obviously that's different than whenever you cast a green permanent spell. Still, I mean, obviously when you're casting those green permanent spells, though, you are, you know, counting not just creatures, but also enchantments. And, you know, if you have any green artifacts too. And yes, Planeswalkers as well. Regardless, obviously when you are casting those creatures, unlike Cathar's Crusade, which does get a counter on the creature that is entering, uh, this one, obviously, you know, with the Filer Vigor, is not going to get a counter on the creature that you cast because it's still going to be on the stack. Still, comparable to these cards in the fact that, again, it's a 6-6 with Trample on top of all this for just 5 mana is ridiculous. I mean, just to give some examples of the potential cost savings throughout the game, let's talk about some different kinds of permanents, you know, green permanents with Sylvan Anthem, Eternal Witness, and the Great Henge. Sylvan Anthem is an enchantment that costs green green, so yes, again, literally with this new card, you're like, okay, as an extra cost to cast this, I'll just pay two life, um, and then it just doesn't cost anything, it's just a free spell, just paying two life just for this. And it says green creatures you control get plus almost one, so there's some extra pump there for your green creatures. And whenever a green creature enters the battlefield under control, scry one. So obviously this can provide you a lot of value throughout the game. And yeah, again, speaking of value, you're paying you know nothing for this essentially except for life. And again, you get that trigger from your uh, Defiler Vigor as well. This is pretty absurd. Or how about Eternal Witness? A creature that sees play in a lot of commander decks out there. It enters the battlefield. You can return a card from your grave to your hand. Again, basically now you're just paying two life and a single mana to do that. And okay, the Great Henge. Did this card need to even have any more benefits really? I mean, this card is already absurd, but yeah, with played, you know, with Defiler of Vigor, uh, now you can just basically cast it for free in the vast majority of circumstances. I mean, two life, yes, but free. Because it costs X less to cast Rexy Grace, power on creatures you control. It can tap for green green. You gain two life whenever a non tone creature is bound under your control. Put a plus one counter on it and draw a card. This is a disgusting combination with Defiler of Vigor. I mean, essentially, you're just, you're just ramping. That's all you're doing. You are freely casting this, again, assuming you've got enough power with creatures in play, which, I mean, um, the greatest power on creatures you control is six. Okay, so with Defiler of Vigor in play, if it's got no counters on it, uh, that's already six. You just have to pay one mana and two life. And if it's got a counter on it, cool, you're already there. Or if you got another creature. Regardless, you are tapping for green, green, gaining life, drawing cards, getting more counters on creatures. This is, again, just showing you the absurd potential of Defiler Vigor with absurd cards. I mean, obviously, even at the one mana level, we can still get a lot of value. Again, if you're running mana dorks in your deck like Land of War Elves, cool, you get to play it for free. I mean, it still costs you two life, but whatever. It's just basically changing that green mana into a Phyrexian green, which is fine. Or how about Rancor? I mean, again, if you've got a deck that utilizes auras, cool. Actually, I mean, with this one, you can just keep getting it back again and again and again, and essentially just keep casting it for free. Yeah, plus two plus zero, trample, whenever it's put in a grave from the battlefield, return to your hand. So again, you can just keep getting this back, casting it for free. Pretty absurd, and we'll talk about some other kinds of ways that you might be able to utilize that. But of course, I have got to bring up Hardened Scales, which of course is incredible with the Filer of Vigor. Again, this is an enchantment for a green, so you can just cast it essentially for free again, two life, whatever. If one or more plus one counters you put on a creature you control, that many plus one of those counters are placed on it instead. So again, you are playing this essentially for free, and you get double the counters on your creatures. So, I mean, okay, again, an additional, but again, with that trigger, you're getting one plus another two double. You know what I mean? Get a ton of counters on all of your creatures very quickly. 
And in green, obviously there are plenty of other ways to get more counters on your creatures. I mean, Branch Evolution, uh, you know, doubles up the counters. Doubling Season doubles up tokens and counters. And Primal Vigor doubles up tokens and counters for everyone. Regardless, there are plenty of examples of ways to get a lot of counters on things. And now with this new creature, again, which is a massive creature itself, that helps you reduce the cost of your spells by just paying life instead, can also just get an absurd amount of counters on your creatures that can then obviously be doubled with green permanence that you can get out cheaper because of it. So yeah, I think Defiler Vigor is going to have a pretty big impact in plenty of decks out there. And if you see it on your opponent's side of the field, you should probably deal with it pretty quickly. Now, another thing that I want to bring up, kind of like Rancor, is that, well, there is some kind of, I wouldn't say combo potential with this, but kind of combo potential with it, with cards like Whip Silk, Green Belt, Rampager, and Horn Kavu, just to name a few. Whip Silk costs a single green, so again, basically, with, you know, this card, you're like, hey, okay, pay two. Awesome, I play this, you know, it's an aura, enchanting creature. Yeah, sure, it gives it reach, but who cares? Uh, you can pay a green to bring, you know, bring it back to your hand. And of course, you can just keep doing this over and over again for essentially as many times as you can pay that single green mana to bounce it back to your hand. And then also, you know, when it comes to the amount of life that you're willing to pay as well. Because of course, every single time you do this and you keep casting this green permanent spell again and again and again, you get counters on all your creatures. So this is basically like a one mana, two life way to just keep getting counters on every single creature you control. Another way to potentially do this if you're set up properly is with Green Belt Rampager, which has when it enters the battlefield, pay to energy if you can't return to its owner's hand and you get an energy. Now with this one, you need some kind of an energy outlet that you can freely just utilize for that energy, maybe like an Aetherwind Basker or something like that. Regardless, yeah, if you've got a way to do that, you can essentially just keep recasting this again and again and again, bouncing it back to your hand again and again and again, uh, as many times as you want, essentially for the amount of life that you can pay. And obviously, if you want to take that a little further, yeah, I mean, if you've got a way to, you know, gain life when this comes into play, maybe like a Burden Sun's Avatar or something like that, cool, you can go infinite with that to get infinite counters. One final one, Horn Kavu, if you're in red as well, uh, you know, just pay a single red mana to cast this. When it comes into play, return a red or green creature to its owner's hand, uh, you can bounce this itself back to your hand. So just keep doing that again and again and again. Now, is this, you know, the typical scenario of what's going to happen with this card? Probably not, but yeah, I mean, just showing that this card has an absurd amount of potential in a lot of different ways. <laughs> Speaking of which, really quick, in yesterday there were a lot of other spoilers, and I didn't have all that much time to do an episode on this one, but I'll quickly mention it in here. Defiler of Dreams, so apparently we're getting a cycle of these defilers, which, yeah, is going to get really crazy. A 4-3 Flying Phyrexian Sphinx for 3 blue blue. Basically the exact same thing as, you know, that green, but now, you know, we're paying the 2 life for blue instead. Uh, and then whenever you cast a blue permanent spell, draw a card. So, also incredibly absurd, and yeah, just to show the potential of, you know, some of those bounce cards like I just mentioned, um, this plus Shrieking Drake equals draw as many cards as you want for, you know, two life apiece, essentially, because Shrieking Drake is a, you know, 1-1 one, one flyer that costs a single blue mana when it comes into play, return a creature control to its owner's hand. So, you can just keep paying two mana, cast it, bounce it back to your hand, cool, draw a card, do it again, and again, and again, and again. So yeah, Defiler of Dreams obviously has a ton of potential as well. Speaking of potential, let's quickly go through commanders, though, that might want Defiler of Vigor. And the first one that came to my mind was Vorinclex Monstrous Raider. Vorinclex is a 6-6 Phyrexian Praetor, so best buds with Defiler of Vigor. Go Phyrexia, right? Okay, anyways, Trample and Haste. Cost four, green, green. But again, keep in mind with Defiler of Vigor in play, uh, that would just cost four mana in total. And of course, this is all on curve, right? Five mana for your Defiler of Vigor. Then, you know, you get your commander out for just four mana. Great. On top of that, of course, basically this doubles up the amount of counters that you get, and it halves the amount of counters that your opponents get. So basically, yeah, now whenever you cast a green permanent spell with this into Defiler in play, you are, well, getting twice as many counters. You're getting two counters on every one of your creatures. Gross. So yeah, Vorinclex could definitely find a place for this Phyrexian Worm in the deck. Next up, Hamza, Guardian of Arashin, a 5-5 Elephant Warrior that says the spell costs one less cast for each creature you control the plus one counter on it, and creature spells you cast cost one less cast for each creature you control the plus one counter on it. This can get pretty gross. I mean, I'm talking about, I mean, you, you might be able to find like, a way to even storm off with this, essentially, because 
Defiler of Vigor is going to easily get counters on all of your creatures. Uh, and then Hums is like, oh, okay, uh, I cost a lot less. Also, all your creature spells cost a lot less to cast. So I'll handle all the generic part of their mana costs. And then the Defiler of Vigor is like, oh, if you've got any green pips in there, you know, up to two green pips, essentially, I'll handle those for you. So yeah, you're just going to be casting creature after creature after creature. I mean, many of them for free, I am sure. Getting a ton of counters on all of your creatures. And, and again, if you ever thought, you know, Selesnia creature counter storm would be a thing, apparently it can be. Speaking of which, how about uh, mono green uh, creature storm that is focused on Hydras with Gargos Vicious Watcher? Gargos is an 8 7 Hydra that costs 3 green, green, green. So again, with the filer, that's just green to green uh, into life. And then Hydra spells you cast cost 4 less to cast. So again, Cost reduction for your spells. This can handle a good amount or, you know, all of the generic mana for, you know, your Hydras. And then, you know, your your your, your Worm, which Frexian Worm, it's not a Hydra. Still, yeah, it can, it can get along with the Hydras, right? And it can, you know, cover some of the green pips for those Hydras or, again, all the green pips. So, yes, again, cost reduction on top of cost reduction, plus getting more counters on all your Hydras. What's not to love? Speaking of counters, and storming off even, probably, Marwyn the Nurturer. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under control, put a plus one counter on Marwyn, and tap add amount of green equal to Marwyn's power. So, again, this Rexian Worm might not be an elf, but still. Many elves are very low to the ground, and again, like Llanowar Elves, yeah, you're casting that essentially for free, you know, just two life or whatnot. When you do, obviously, you are getting counters on this commander because those elves are coming into play, but you're also getting that cast trigger from Defiler, and you are getting counters on every single one of your creatures, including Morrowind, which can then tap for an absurd amount of mana. So yeah, I think even, again, when it comes to tribal decks, those still might want to consider the Phyrexian Worm, even if they're not, you know, Phyrexian or Worm Tribal, which there aren't really a lot of those out there, but yeah. Up next, let's talk about Torrin's Fist the Angels, a 2 to a training, and whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one green and white human soldier creature token with training. So yeah, if you've got a good amount of green creatures in this deck, consider adding in that Phyrexian Worm, which can help you cast even more green creatures more quickly to get more creature tokens into play, which also then just get larger because you're just casting more and more spells, that are, you know, green permanent spells to get more counters on all your creatures, so you can go wide and tall thanks to the Worm. But finally, though, the last commander that I want to bring up is actually, ironically, the very first commander I ever built. That's right, my first commander deck was Rishkar Pima Renegade. Rishkar has, when it enters battlefield, put a plus one counter up to two target creatures, and each creature you control they counter on it has tap add green. Again, this worm is like, okay, everyone gets counters. Yay! And then Rishkar's like, awesome, everyone's got a counter. Tap for mana. Absurd amounts of mana. And then your worm's like, don't worry, I've got some of the green costs too. So yeah, I mean, again, you can really go off and you can get a ton of value out of that worm in a deck like this. But now this episode is coming to a close, it's time for me to give you my final thoughts on Defiler of Vigor. Again, like I've said a couple of times now, my goodness magic has come a long way from Craw Worm, again a vanilla 6-4 worm that costs 6 mana. Now we get a 6-6 six, six trampling worm for 5, but that's not all, there's two extra disgusting things that this can do. So yeah, in plenty of decks out there, this can provide an absurd amount of value throughout the game, and yeah, I mean this is not only... Again, a, a way to just keep things going for your deck, a, a way to generate value by helping you cast spells quicker, but also, again, a finisher in many ways by being able to get a ton of counters on your creatures. So, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty absurd card, and I am scared slash excited to see the rest of this Defiler cycle. I, I mean, I'm assuming it's a cycle. We've already got two of them that have the exact same name and basically the exact same templating. So yes, I'm assuming a cycle is coming, but yeah, make sure you stay tuned to this channel for more exciting spoilers and quick takes. Spoiler season has just begun. And with that, the show is coming to a close, so it's my turn here from you. So in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts on this episode are, and as always, thanks again and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. 
If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron and I truly couldn't do this without all of their support.